Remembering River. This Halloween marks the 25th anniversary of the day River Phoenix died. For the first time, the actress that he was dating at the time of his tragic death, Samantha Mathis, is speaking out. Our Los Angeles correspondent, Caitlin Becker, has revealing details we've never heard before about that horrible night and the young man who stole Samantha's heart. Okay, calm down a little bit, okay? What's the address where you need us? It's Sunset and Larrabee. It's at the Viper Room. It was the 911 call that sent shockwaves through the entertainment world. River Phoenix convulsing from a cocaine and heroin overdose outside the infamous Hollywood night spot on Halloween. Joaquin Phoenix, who was not nearly as famous as he is today, actually made the call. He was only 19 years old. He was hysterical. What's that? Samantha Mathis, River's girlfriend, was also hysterical. She's never spoken out about what happened to River Phoenix that fateful night until now. He had gone into the bathroom, and when he came out, Samantha saw him being sort of thrown out of the club by a bouncer. At the time, she thought he'd actually got into a fight. It wasn't until she got outside that she saw him on the ground convulsing. She started screaming at the man who was out there with him, asking him what happened, and the guy actually turned to her and basically told her to back off and said, you're spoiling his high. It was at that point that she frantically started looking for Joaquin and Rain, you know, couldn't get back inside finally got back inside, got them, got them outside. At this point, River had been on the ground for, for minutes having seizures. According to Samantha, she said that on the ground, on the sidewalk on Sunset Boulevard, he took his last breath. Samantha reveals she didn't believe River Phoenix was into drugs, but that she knew he was on something that night, saying, He was high in a way that made me feel uncomfortable. I was in way over my head. But she is convinced and steadfast that he did not get the heroin that killed him until he walked in the door of the Viper Room. So why has Samantha waited 25 years to speak out? Samantha has talked to her therapist about this, but for the most part, she'd really blocked a lot of it out because it was so traumatizing. It wasn't until recently that she came across the film, The Thing Called Love, that they did together, that everything started sort of bubbling up again. She said that she felt like it was the universe telling her to really open up about River. If I had a normal family and a good upbringing, then I would have been a well-adjusted person. Samantha even has a vision of what life would be like today for River Phoenix had he lived. She just imagined him being kind of a regular actor, acting and directing and being an environmentalist and trying to save the planet. She kind of sat and thought a little bit about it and just said, oh gosh, wouldn't that be nice? Some industry experts believe River Phoenix, whose real name was River Jude Bottom, would have achieved even greater success in Hollywood, not only in films, but in the music industry as well, as he was a promising singer and songwriter and an accomplished guitarist. 